What evil lurk in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. <laughs> Once again, your neighborhood blue coal dealer brings you the thrilling adventures of the shadow, the hard and relentless fight of one man against the forces of evil. These dramatizations are designed to demonstrate forcefully to old and young alike that crime does not pay. All right, so the best place to start would be at the beginning. Um, <clears throat> a couple of Christmases ago, uh, this is what I received uh, from my wife and my parents uh, for Christmas. So while um, everybody else was getting Xboxes, I got a beat up old radio. And I think I got the better end of the bargain. So this is a Marconi Model 220. It's a Canadian made uh, cabinet uh, radio. It is a um, combination of uh, AM and shortwave. Now the radio itself works, however, it has a nasty 60 cycle hum. The most common reason for that is that the uh, the old style electrolytic capacitors have just uh, worn out, dried out, leaked, whatever, and are no longer doing their job of uh, filtering and they need to be replaced. In addition to the electronics, it also has some cabinet damage, some wear and tear, paint's worn off, the veneer is going to need to be replaced, fixed up. The uh, grill cloth isn't in bad shape and I probably won't replace that. We got some uh, cracks in the cabinet. But other than that, this radio is in really good shape and everything that uh, we see here is totally repairable. So let's have a look at the back side. Well here we are on the back side. Now we can have a look and, uh, and, and I can show you a few things. So um, of course we got the cabinet. Here's the actual radio chassis here. And as you can see, it's full of uh, beautiful old-fashioned tubes, transformer, got our speaker down here, paper cone speaker, still in reasonable shape, and uh, still works. Our uh, antenna connects up here and actually wraps all around on the inside, like so. We can see our dialing uh, mechanism in there and the big variable tuning capacitor. Uh, this speaker, oh, several hundred volts more than likely. So uh, we have to exercise a lot of caution when we're fixing a radio like this. Well, what I thought I'd do first, we're going to um, take it apart, get it up on the bench, and um, make sure we don't have any uh, nasty short circuits that we need to worry about. So the first thing we're going to do uh, to get this out of the cabinet is uh, we're going to take the, the knobs off the front. And these are just plastic type knobs and just got to give them a good pull and off they come. Ch get this chassis out of here. Uh, it's usually just in here with a couple of screws. So there's a screw here and another one over here. It's sitting on uh, some kind of fireproof pad. Um, for all I know, this could be asbestos, so uh, I suppose don't, don't lean down and breathe on it. Um, to get the chassis out, we're just going to unscrew the two screws, and it should come right out in our hands. I screwed the chassis uh, here and here, free from the cabinet. Uh, the other thing I did, the speaker wire over here, where it plugs into the side of the chassis, pulled that out. It goes through a hole down here to the speaker. Now watch out with that old speaker wire. It tends to get really brittle, so uh, don't be uh, yanking on it too hard. The other thing, there's the little, there's there's the little electric eye here, which is actually a tube that's in a bracket that's kind of poking through the front of the cabinet. 
gives your, your little glowing electric eye. We've taken that out. I've also removed the antenna, the staples that we're holding it on from the inside. And with everything up, we're going to give it a pull, bring it out. One, two, three. And there we go. All right, here's the, uh, here's the speaker, uh, paper speaker cone. So it's held up here with uh, two, three, four screws. Don't forget the connector for the chassis poked up through a hole in the floor of the cabinet. So we're just going to take this out. Now be careful, it's pretty heavy on the back side, so when you take these off, they all come off at the same time, it's going to fall backwards. So take them out carefully. Maybe leave one of the top ones on, and then it should come out nicely into your hands. Cut. All right, I've unscrewed all of the uh, screws holding it on. It just comes off like that. Here we are again, looking from the inside. I've already taken the uh, the chassis out, the speaker out, the antenna, all the assorted pieces. This is a little label that's uh, affixed to the uh, inside of it. The Canadian Marconi Company. It's got the tube layout from the chassis. Marconi RVC Radiotrons. That's the type of tubes you're supposed to replace everything with. The shadow will demonstrate that the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow knows. <laughs>